everyone that's here in your respectful places. Yes. Hallelujah. Feel good down in my soul. Yes. Feel a praise in my feet. Yes. Hallelujah. Because in spite of what the enemy says yes. and in spite of what the enemy does, we still got victory. Yes.
when Jesus came, he found that he had laid in the grave four days. Life. All right. 
Praise God so death could not overtake life because he is not just life, but the resurrection is the life giver of eternal and everlasting life. Praise God. So he would not just gain life when Jesus came, but he would gain life everlasting. Right. Praise the Lord. Now we know, praise the Lord, according to the Jewish customs and the Jewish beliefs, that a person that died was not really considered dead until after the fourth day of death because people believed in that day and in that hour that the spirit hovered over that person. And so, within the four days or three and a half days, if they were dead, that death would come back to their body. Now there was something that Jesus had to magnify in the midst of his lateness. Mm -hmm. And that was that he really is God wrapped in flesh. All right. That he is really the life giver. That he is really the giver and the sustainer of life. Well, if you look through scripture, you will find in every aspect of ministry, when Jesus raised the dead, it was someone who had been dead for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. And so the Jews didn't necessarily believe that he had the power to raise the dead. They believed then, on the contrary, that it was their spirit over hovering them and that life could come back into the body. Mm. Therefore, by Jesus being late for this particular appointment, he was able to prove to them that though I'm late, I'll be on time. Right. Because as he stated to Mary, I am the resurrection yes. and I am the life. Yes. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Yes. And he that believeth in me shall never die. Yes. And I want to let you know today that some of us are murmuring and complaining about where we find ourselves at. Yes. Things that we're dealing with in this day and this hour. Yes. But I want you to know that the Lord sent me to tell you yes. he may be running late, but he will be on time. Yes. It looks like your life is topsy-turvy. Yes. Looks like things are not going your way. But God sometimes wants to delay his trip, delay his miracle, delay his manifestation, delay his healing, so that nobody else can get the credit, so that nobody else can get the praise, so that nobody else can get the glory, so that nobody else can get the honor, so nobody can say, look what I did, look what I but when the Lord gets there and you're at death's door, then you know God did the healing. When God gets there and you have nowhere to turn and no food to eat, then you know that He is Jehovah Jireh. He is my provider. He is my bread. And He is my water. Yes, Lord, yes. Yeah. 
will take courage in what I'm dealing with and who I'm dealing with. Because as of today, God sent me a direct message.